So I left all the audio on this right here. The wind, for some reason, this week here in this area, the wind has been horrendous. And when it records on the drone, it records through the phone. So it picked up a good bit of wind noise through this video. But it's not as worse at the front up here, like when I'm doing this voiceover. But uh, I left it in there because it's, it's worth it to be able to hear it and, and all that. So y'all just enjoy this video. Thank y'all for watching. So that's dad in the 630 right there. Drone just went right over my head. That's where the tracks make a big difference. Where dad's having trouble turning the tracks or chains, they would actually pull the front end of the machine on around and go on up the hill there and he wouldn't be having to back up. So dad had to drop it and let go where he can get back straight with it there. Rather than fight it. And he'll grab it and go on up the hill with it. I'm gonna go on back down here with Chad down here. You can see Derek on the left right there, Chaz on the right. I'm actually about 35 feet lower than what, than the elevation that I took off from a while ago. Heck, I'm still 60 feet off the ground from down there where he's at right now, too.
watch Derek here. He's got such a big drag this time, Derek's gonna take the top side of it for him, lighten him up a little bit. So you can see dad over on the left hand side of the screen now. And you can see what he's got to go up. I'm up on top of that second shelf up there. You ought to be able to see me, maybe. I don't know. I can't see it on the screen here. You might can. I gotta be careful I don't hit the ground with this drone too because I'm still 35 feet below where I took off from. That's a good drag right there he's got. He's going to back up and get him another bite on it there. right here is I back the drone up look over that ledge over there on the other side of where he's uh, where he's going up on that ridge top right there this ground is crazy up here man
So it's back on over to the east, looking back at the at the job here. Flying 45 miles an hour right now. There I am, right there on the left side of the screen. About to load up some more corn. I've got, how many bags I got in here? I got four bags in here. I'm probably gonna put about two more. What I try to do is I try to alternate uh, uh, topping off my feeders and stuff, and that way I don't have to do all of them at the same time. So another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the battery saw with me today. When I go over there, let's see here. Yeah, she's charged up and I got some uh, I got a couple of trees that are in the way I need to they're not actually trees they are like saplings I need to uh, cut down also gonna take the uh, pole saw with me too so people comment on the video about the 635 in being slow what we've done when we put those tracks on there is we have when we go to pull on a hard pull, that machine has so much power. We have limited the ground speed on that thing to where to go slow, which doesn't really matter because you're, and whether you're on that machine or you're on a John Deere or a Caterpillar, you're not going to go up that hill very fast. It just ain't going to happen. And I don't think uh, in the videos that uh, you can't depict on a, on a two-dimensional screen the three-dimensional view that you're actually looking at out there and to understand the magnitude of what we are uh, dealing with there on that track it's um uh, that's a that's a tough one there that we're working on we like about 20 more acres on it and we won't finish it this week because it's the week of thanksgiving and so we'll probably and they're talking about rain coming in wednesday and raining basically all the way through the weekend so the rain will mess us up but we'll only be working monday tuesday and wednesday if we get to work wednesday and then we'll be off the rest of the week we joined some state park property on our land and uh they've got about 700 acres on that state park and they've got hiking trails on it and right at five o'clock on our side over there they, when they built the hiking trails back in the early 90s, they built they built some of them right up against us. So we constantly have people from the state park that end up on our property or they end up lost. So last night at about 5, I was sitting in one of my stands and I heard two ladies and I looked at my watch and I said, they're going to be in trouble because they're not going to make it back out of there because they were on the very, very back side of the property up against us. Well, sure enough, they got lost. They got turned around. And uh, I ended up going over there about, it was pretty close to, it was after 8.30. And I got over there. They had just found them. And, uh, and I may fly the drone and do a video and show where they started at and where they ended up at. They ended up, uh, they found them in a shooting house. They had no idea where they were at or anything like that. They actually came slap across our property to get into one of the shooting houses on the adjoining property there past us where they ended up at and i i know them uh <laughs> stuff so uh but i got to go over our game wards uh met with them last night they had to cut uh one of our fences and pull up posts to try to get in there and uh and then 
I told the people at the park last night, I said, listen, I said, if anything like that happens, just call us. Just call us. We'll get everybody in there. We'll find them. You know, just just call us. Don't try to go over there and start ripping and tearing everything up to trying to get in, you know. So anyhow, I'm about to go over there and check on all that stuff because they're supposed to come back today, put back up the fences, tie everything back together and all that stuff like that. So hope all y'all have a good Thanksgiving week. Again, be safe out there if you're out and about. And uh, plenty of hand sanitizer, man. It's your friend. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.